We're gonna make all you Star Wars collectors out there cringe as we rip open all the boxes to all these 20 year old Star Wars. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's rip them open. <laughs> if you like deadly Jedi weapons, vlogs from a galaxy far, far away, or anything Star Wars, make sure to hit the subscription button and the notifications bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Welcome back to Finding the Force. And this is Landroid. And he's that. Boy, do we get lucky. Someone who lives close by is actually a Star Wars collector and his wife made him thin out his collection. So we totally got hooked up with a bunch of these awesome, like vintage 20 year old Star Wars. Been in their boxes ever since and we're gonna rip them open. Which one do you wanna start off with, bud? Uh, Mace Windu. Mace Windu. Open it up. They're not meant to be in boxes. They're meant to be played with, huh? Or they get grumpy like Stinky Pete from Toy Story uh, 2, right? Yeah. Been in this box long enough. Made by Hasbro, uh, which came out around 2006. Comes with this little extra hologram here. Um, just Maybe is it just kind of neat like decoration or is there some kind of device we're supposed to use this on? I don't know, but uh, comment down below if, if you know the answer to that. He also comes with this kind of, I'm guessing this is like a force push. And like knocks out the bad guys. I think he does like... That is super cool. And all, like luckily all the, he has a handful of them, but they are all the 3.75 inch. Oh, you can move one arm and the other one moves. There you go. So he's been super pumped about that. I've actually been really excited about this. The Gamorrean guard. Uh, he guards Jabba the Hutt in the palace from... Uh, from Return of the Jedi. Let's uh, open him up, huh? Yo, and he's pretty cool to play with. He has the big axe. If you want to go into like the blockhead. Made by Kenner. The Kenner collection and came out in 1997. Yeah, he's all slobbery, so his knees don't bend, his elbows don't bend, but it's cool. He's still like like very detailed and uh, very vintage, dude. I was do you have any idea what a projector is? and you'd put this in the projector and you'd go click and then it would shine light through it and you could see up on the screen. Anakin, that turns into Darth Vader. Whoa! Let's see, made by Hasbro, 2005. You know, hopefully these 3.75 lightsabers are a bit more durable than the tall six inch Hasbro uh, Black Series. No longer being imprisoned by plastic anymore. What? Even though it's kind of made of plastic. Wanted that could come off. Whoa, this is, okay, I'll hold that. Um, Whoa. Man, that is a really big cloak. Let's see. <laughs> All right. But Anakin's head kind of goes down into his body oh. like that. So we're gonna put, see, Anakin's head, and then it snaps on Darth Vader's helmet and cloak. We got two of the same Darth Vader's, uh, I'm not just gonna throw this off to the side here. This one says that it has a, uh, squeeze his legs together for a lightsaber attack. Whoa. Rah. Rah. So rewarding. Be free, Darth Vader. Naturally, you wanna open. Well, let's try to squeeze it. All right, let's see here. Dun, 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 dun. Cool. And he has his open hand to be doing, to be force choking everyone. And his, uh, he's got a pretty neat cloak. It's kind of see-through, but a very cool 3.7 inch. So I want to pick C3PO. Good choice, dude. Come on, Darth Vader, stand up. If you don't stand up, I'm, you're gonna sit down. All right, Darth Vader, that's it. It's C-3PO before he even gets his like armor. So he's all cut like wired and stuff. Isn't that cool? And he can put all of his like very early rusted armor on his little wired body. All right, go ahead and tear it open. <laughs> Be free C-3PO. <laughs> so this C-3PO came out in 2002 and was made by Hasbro. I'm actually kind of impressed. But how cool is this that like you have a a naked C-3PO, mm -hmm. and you can put on his like rusted armor on like this. But now let's put on his armor. 
And it comes with this cool crate to hold all of his armor, just like that. He'll be just dressing and undressing C-3PO for hours. Yeah, but now let's put the pieces in the crate. All right, now it's my turn. I'm going to open what? Emperor Palpatine. Yeah. Who changes from em from Palpatine to Darth Sidious. There we go, and he comes with cool force lightning effects, but I think you press the button in the back and his like head spins around and he becomes Darth Sidious. Let's find out. It's gonna be a lot easier to open 20 years ago, right? This is really easy. I'm not like having not cutting myself on razor sharp plastic and stuff. Whoa, hot Whoa. lava background. Rah. How generous of makers to include a, a whole packet of advertisements that you don't have yet. Just so the moment you can be satisfied with one, you can be unhappy about not having another one. I think it lights up in the dark. Whoa, no way, his hands light up. Wow. Get out of here. Electric thing here. Ha <laughs> ha. So when you, put, when you let go of the trigger, his face goes back to being uh, Palpatine. But when you push, push the trigger down, he becomes Darth Sidious. Don't lose his hands now. I don't want to be looking for hands when I hit the couch. Doesn't he kind of remind you of Roz from Monsters Incorporated? Yeah. Cool. All right, your turn to open one, dude. Uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi and this crazy droid. Yeah, let's see. This Obi-Wan Kenobi is from 2001. Comes with this assassination droid with a lightsaber weapon is force attracted to the hand. Whoa. So I can hold on like in the movie. Cool, open it up. Let's check it out, man. <laughs> Some of these toys have force abilities. That's cool. That 2002 Hasbro. So it's magnetized like that to his hand. <laughs> He's like flying all around Coruscant. <laughs> <laughs> his waist rotates around. Um, that's how crazy he's flying around, but his blade, look, it's magnetized to his hand. What? Look at that. Next, I'm gonna open this Attack of the Clones Anakin Skywalker. This is from 2002, made by Hasbro. And it's his tunic that he's got where he's disguised as uh, one of the townspeople after the attack on, on Princess Amidala's life. Let's free him from his plastic cell. Rah! You had yours, it's my turn. There we go. Comes with this crate. We went back and checked out the movie before we opened this earlier. You can disguise his lightsaber like that. Whoa. Look at that, the lightsaber goes away. We got his tunic here. The bottom of the package says 10 Jedi Master Points. If you guys have any idea what that is, then uh, comment down below. I wonder what if we save up our points, if we can get anything that's from their 20 year old catalog. Then his hand is kind of magnetized here and it came with this. So you put the blaster inside this crate here and you touch it, use the force to open the crate. Saw this crate in the movie anywhere? Will you comment down below where it was? Cause we didn't see it. Uh, we looked around for it and stuff, but. R4G9. R4G9. Now this is actually has a special story to it. Back in 2003, it was the idea of George Lucas to give the Star Wars fan club called Hyperspace, there was a contest and there were four different droid colors to choose from. And this one won the contest and actually accompanied Obi-Wan Kenobi to the planet of Utapu um, when he confronted General Grievous and all that planet full of sinkholes and stuff. There you go, rip it open. This droid is so cool, the head goes. I love it's like got rose gold colors to it. The really coolest part about this droid is that when the the light comes in through the top of his helmet, his eye lights up, and when you cover it, his eye turns off. Isn't that neat? Yeah, it turns off. And it took a few minutes of thinking, but we realized that this is actually a hologram projection of Utapu, the planet he goes with Obi-Wan to yeah. go um, like that. The hologram is very small, but in the real planet, it's very big. All right, last one is Queen Amidala. This also comes with 10 Jedi Master uh, barcode points. 1998. Woo! We got this time that came with a comm chip, a comm tech chip. And I, I looked up on the internet that there's this reader and you put the chip on the reader and it makes sounds from Princess Amidala. So it comes with a chip and a couple of blasters. And she's been in a plastic for a long time. Her outfit feels kind of sticky. Let's see if she can hold her blasters. 
because back then there was no promise that she would hold her blaster. Hey, there we go. <laughs> she shoots her blaster into the air and what? Uh, it sticks onto the wall and she goes up to the higher oh, level. Oh, that's called a grappling hook. A grappling yeah. hook. Yeah. Hey! And that's it. These are all of our 20 year old vintage Star Wars. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. We're gonna go dress up C3PO and Anakin. We're gonna get them dressed. Yeah, and Mace Windu. He's gonna have a rematch with Emperor Palpatine. <laughs> Mama Jamma? You aren't gonna get me, Mama Jamma. Like that. So thanks for hanging out with us, guys. We will see you in the next one. Have an awesome Star Wars Day!